So, why do dusty black males trash black women when they date interracially or date out, when they swirl? But why do white men or dusty white males, because neither of these do this, why don't they trash white women when they date interracially? Why is that? Now, that's a question that I have a hypothesis for, but I don't have an answer for. It's my hypothesis. It's something that I can only guess. I am only learning about the struggles between black women and black men. Um, the reason why I talk about it is because regardless of the reasons, it's not a good thing. And since I've made videos about black women for, what is it now, five years since December 26th, well, actually before that, I'm making it my business. Doesn't mean that I have everything right, but I think I have a right to talk about it. Cohen Nanning, that is the name of this tool, and I'm not going to waste any time telling this white male that our affairs are none of his business and that he should keep his thoughts and comments to himself. You are entitled, Mr. Nanning. You are a lurker in our community and probably should exit stage right. And before you go, please take as many of these brain-dead, socially and mentally mutilated hyenas as you can stuff into your car, trunk included. The affairs of black men in particular are none of your business. Don't worry, J. Edgar Hoover, Gloria Steinem and Margaret Sanger have done the work down here in the slave quarters. Your hubris and entitlement to other ethnic groups is astounding. Don't you have any white business to stick your colonial nose into? You don't think it's a little bit sus to have Zaddy down here caping for the hyena class in an argument someone like you would have to look for with a microscope? Forgive the sentiment, but haven't you people stuck your noses in our lives long enough? Okay. Let's be unduly fair to Cohen here with one very pertinent question. Where is your black wife? Does anybody know where Cohen Nanning's black wife is, people? Anybody? What is your interest in the black community, Cohen? Hey man, are you really interested in the overall welfare of men and women? A black people? Really? So that means you don't mind reparations then? Don't answer that question. We already know the answer. Yeah, you ain't for the shits when it comes to making black people fiscally whole and economically competitive. No even playing field because, well, that would be fair. Why upend the minority majority apple cart, right, Cohen? You want to be able to cherry pick and fish down here in the supposed ethnic community. And black hyenas have AA hole. You melanin deficient dudes can use for gutter sex. Love that black pussy but want to be able to put it back in that economic Tupperware sealed with your welfare programs when you've had your fill. Hey man, if the societal roles were filled, economically speaking, with no outside interference from the mayonnaise clan, do you think the swirl would be in full effect? Would you be top of the food chain in a fair and balanced sexual marketplace or back of the bus? Come on, white savior. It's an easy enough question, ain't it? Your people dismantled and destroyed the nuclear family. Your people initiated the sexual revolution and spearheaded radical feminism with our women as the metaphorical and ideological tip of the spear, didn't you? Why did white people pay back women to keep the men out of your government-sponsored households? The projects remember Honky? And just to let you know, the housing projects weren't part of some sort of Marshall plan to make my people whole again. Quite the opposite that's yielded results unimagined on an epic scale that I'm sure your think tanks have never stopped refining even into the modern times. It's the gift that keeps on giving for white supremacy. Don't you agree? Well, why did your people burn down all of those black towns? If you didn't want to be near us, didn't want to have contact, why'd you do that shit? I'm going to break the fourth wall and tell you kings watching that Cohen's motherfucking head would be exploding at this point. Most people can't handle the truth. Sometimes a lie makes everything, um, more palatable, more comfortable from the outsider's perspective. I don't know when it happened, but white supremacy went public and all of the melanin challenge got a share, according to them if you're listening just right. Cohen told us, black people, that he was gonna stick his nose into our interpersonal business. This is black people business, bitch. But you feel like you have the right, 
Am I correct in that assumption? We both know I am, motherfucker. You guys love to do that ethnic ride along down here to admire your handiwork, don't you? I bet you hate seeing your women down here, don't you? Cucker's gonna cuck, right? Say, Jim, that's a bad outfit, and it's a fair trade woman for woman. I'm sure you love watching all those curious white women down here trying to find out if black men really do have tails. This geek remembers a date with a certain redhead, where she was so put out by his rich chocolate skin tone that she could barely keep her panties on before they reached his apartment. Hey, FYI Cohen, she stopped wearing panties to my place after that night. Like that shit, right? Fair play, right, bruh? Man, I remember breaking up a cushy friends with benefits deal with this blonde who was the spitting image of a young in her prime, Mira Sorvino. She had this awesome bubble butt and could outbang any sister on her worst day. Her body was banging, but she partied too much. Was mad I wouldn't take her to my house. Man, you know those hoes be for the streets, right, my white nigger? A king's gotta protect his peace. But you wouldn't mind, right, Cohen? Hey, you got all the black box you can handle. At a discount. Cohen. Man, look, I ain't mad at you. None of the kings are, bruh. We got our passports. Ciao, honky. Black Patriarchy. A non-existent group of fictional black male power brokers not discredited, erroneously jailed or outright killed by the minority majority who look the other way as they work tirelessly to shame, oppress, and outright take out the altruistic black female populace of the honorable democratic United States of America. 3K's inset bitches. These evil wealthy members of the black patriarchy are the sole reason for all the ills of the black community walking, talking, holding down jobs and doing everything up to and including giving their very lives in service to their baby mamas and babies motherfucking kids. Their motto that strikes fear into the hearts of black women everywhere, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks.